good thing you check and you verify and you double check before that happens. I have one more offset to get this started. I need to offset once more 2.25 inches. I'm going to offset this object to the left. So here's what I did. We offset this up three quarters, then a half inch, half inch, half inch. Inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, 2.25. Now I'm going to use a tool called Trim. The Trim tool allows me to cut objects away that I don't need. So I'm going to select all my cutting edges. So for example, if I pick this vertical line, this vertical line will help me cut this object because this is now the point at which the knife or the, or the cutting tool is going to be cut and I can cut this short side or the long side. If I pick two cutting tools then what will happen is that it'll, it allows me to cut in between the two cutting tools. I'll select the third cutting tool and do the same thing. So I'm going to select all three of these. Okay, I'm just going to do the vertical lines. We'll do the horizontal lines next. Could I select everything at once? You bet. Is it more efficient? Yes. Right mouse click, because when you're done selecting the cutting edges, you now want to select the objects to trim. So I need to trim this in this back. I need to trim this back. I need to trim this back. And I need to trim this back and this back. And we'll trim so we go there. We'll right mouse click again and choose enter. I need to offset once more. I forgot one. We choose offset 0 0.50. We're going to offset this middle to the left the half inch. Now let me go ahead and trim and this time I'm going to select all the horizontal lines and I'm just individually picking them but what happens if I miss? If I miss I get a green box or a blue box. The green box indicates that anything that touches the green box gets selected. The blue box indicates Anything that's totally inside the blue box gets selected. Right, so I can individually select items. I can green box, otherwise known as a crossing window. Or I can blue box, which is a standard window. So blue box, everything inside, green box, anything that touches. When I'm done selecting all my objects, I right mouse click. I'm going to trim this line, this line, this line, and I'm going to trim in between. So now I'm getting the shape of my object. I can't trim this because there's nothing to trim. It's in between two objects. So you can see how the bottom is now shaped up. The side is now shaped up. And the one thing that I did not offset is, let's see here, 1.752, I did not offset up 0.75, so this top part is not done yet. But the bottom is now complete. So it's 1.75 from the top, and this one is set at 2.5, so the difference is 3 quarters of an inch. So we need to offset 0.75 up. Okay. Let's right mouse click and choose enter. We'll delete this line and we'll delete this line. Why am I deleting this? Because I'm going to trim it away anyways. Now here's the problem. My vertical lines don't touch the horizontal. So what I need to do is extend these vertical lines. Well, under Trim, there's an Extend tool. So it's just the opposite of Trim. So I'll pick Extend, and I'll pick the point where I want to extend the lines to. In this case, it's going to be 
the horizontal line. I then right mouse click after I'm done selecting my objects and I'll select the two lines to project. How cool is that? Right mouse click and enter. I'll do the same thing and I'll select trim again. The cutting edges on this case are going to be the two vertical lines. Right mouse click and we'll trim. Perfect. We're going to put a couple of dimensions on. We're not going to dimension f the object fully. Matter of fact, I messed up, didn't I? You betcha. My line here is incorrect. I need to have a half inch line here. That needed to be one inch up and then another half inch. Uh oh. So, how do I fix it? Oh, this never happens to a student's drawing, ever. So I need to offset once more. Distance is 0 0.50. Offset up. I need to erase this line and erase this line. I need to trim. There's my two cutting edges. This line. And I'm going to show you an extra bonus trick. If you pick the object and pick the blue box so it's gripped, I made the grip hot, I can extend it to the next object. If I hit the escape key, that will stop this. And then lastly, I need to draw another line. You might want to replay that back because that's a big thing, that grip and stretch. I could also, instead of using trim there, I could have stretched it back. So stretch works in both directions, expansion and contraction. All right, we're going to put a couple of dimensions on. I'm not going to dimension the whole object, but I am going to put a couple of basic dimensions to show you how the process of linear dimensioning works. Dimensions must, must show all, every size and position of all the features. So I'm going to start with linear, and there's two ways to do a linear dimension. I can pick the two endpoints and get a dimension. Or I can choose linear, right mouse click, and pick an object and get a dimension. Well, the endpoints work best if I'm dimensioning from here to here, because there's no one single object. But if I'm dimensioning a long single object, I'm OK, too. So I can dimension from here to here, right mouse click here. But that doesn't look good, does it? So I can grip these. And if I want to move the text out, I can pick the red block, move the text out. That looks better. And I'll line up the two arrowheads. So you notice that I moved the 125 out. So that way the arrowheads go inside. And that gives me a better alignment. I should also move this starting point down to the bottom so I get a gap. See the gap? If I were to take and move this up, to where I originally was, no gap. So you want to make sure that you can drag these endpoints using these grip tools to that location. Just makes it easier. Linear works on both horizontal and vertical. If you want to do an actual distance of an angled line, that's called an aligned dimension to get the true size of an angled surface. Uh, typically, however, in this case, I would dimension by picking it, come straight up, right mouse click, repeat dim linear, right mouse click, pick it, come straight across, and provide that value. Do I actually need this one here too? No, this would be an over dimension. I can either get rid of the 4.75 or I can delete the 2.25 
And you have to assume that the reader knows basic addition and subtraction. I know it's a stretch sometimes, but your reader must be able to do basic math. That is how you create a basic drawing. Our next step will be how to plot it uh, using the layout tools to scale.